Welcome to A Taste of Theater, where everyone is a star. This is the place where playwrights from around the country will come to showcase one scene of their play. Today's star is shining bright on Loretta Lee of Chicago, Illinois. We will see a clip of her play, Remembering Billie Holiday. And now, let's welcome our host, Pierre Evans. Hi, I'm Pierre Evans, and welcome to A Taste of Theater, where everyone is a star. Today's star shining bright is Miss Loretta Lee. We're going to watch a clip of her play, Remembering Billie Holiday. Loretta, please introduce yourself. Well, Pierre, it's a pleasure to be here today. And um, I have this play called, it's a musical documentary called uh, Remembering Billie Holiday. And actually, this is my fourth production. Wow. So May the 17th, we'll be at the Carver Military Academy. Okay. And it is the state of the art. Everyone should come out. It holds, it seats uh, 800 people, and they have put quite a is a bit of money into the, okay. into the theater, okay. so it is a state of the art. And everyone needs to come see it. Oh, yes. they need to come and see it. Absolutely. The reason they need to come and see the play is because this year will be Billie Holiday's 99th birthday. Wow. And the reason that I put this play on every year is mm -hmm. because I want people to remember her for her contribution to civil rights. Yes, yes. And not only that, we want everybody to remember the legacy that she leaves, where she was the first to ever sing a protest song. Wow. And she's not really getting that recognition. The recognition that she deserves. Right. And a lot of young people, you know, really don't know about her. So you're schooling the younger generation as well. Exactly. It's an educational show. It's a musical documentary. Mm -hmm. I have Joyce Mallory, who is my narrator. Mm -hmm. And I have written out the script for, for all the characters in the show. And everybody is true to the character. Okay. And this is an original script. Right. Wow. That's and so what happened is that I, the first year that I did it, I did it IIT, okay. and it, like 800 people came out. And my vision was to be able to educate everyone about Billie Holiday. Okay. Now, not to cut, not to mm -hmm. interrupt you, but what you were saying this is your first play. When did you start writing plays? Well, the first time that I wrote it was uh, it was in 2011. You know, everyone was telling me, Loretta, you need to do Billie Holiday. I can hear her in your voice. Okay. And so I was at the skating rink because I'm a skater and a stepper. Me too. And um, the guy said, oh, you are? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, no, this, okay, is your like, oh, this is your This is your moment. You know, the state with sk skater, yeah. skaters and the steppers, yes. honey, we were like a, a, a group, a little family. That's right. So I was at the skating rink, and a guy, Rashid Abad, he came there. He was... He was uh, searching for, um, recruiting for uh, in, anyone who could skate and sing or skate and dance. Oh, okay. So I told him, well, everyone is telling me I should do Billy Holiday. So he said, well, come for the audition. Mm -hmm. Well, at that time, uh, this like might be around nine years ago. Okay. And then I said, oh, here I go again. I had stage fright so bad I couldn't sing oh, all my no. life up until uh, like 13 years ago. Okay, and you got over it. And I got over it because okay, this guy, he, he took me around to karaoke. And, okay. And uh, then got I saw feet the wet and you yes. get the reaction from the crowd and after all, you can't wait to get on stage. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Go ahead. So I uh, um, auditioned for it. Okay. And that's how it all started. That's how it all started. Cool. So prior to that, I didn't even know that she died on my birthday. Wow. So I think this might that's be... karma. You, oh, <laughs> you, her spirit is in you. You've been blessed by, by the spirit of Billie Holiday. I, I really feel that I have a mission, and it is the spirit is there, because when I started doing research on her, mm -hmm. I discovered that she it was more to her than just her voice. And, okay. And... Um, we people need to know this and they need to remember her for her contribution to civil rights. You know, okay. A lot of people, they don't, they don't know, know about that. 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 That leads me to my next question. Tell me a little more about the play itself. Okay. Take us on a quick little journey through the play. Now, in the beginning of the play, I decided this year, the first year, the whole show was Billy. Okay. The second show, and I decided to add in some other legendary artists. Okay. So, I have an opening act, okay. and the opening act will be, for this year, it's going to be 
Mom's Mabel. Mm. And she is mom. Okay, okay. okay. They are true to the character. They're true to the character. Louis Armstrong. Ooh. And after a couple of notes, you'll say, oh, that's Louis. That's Louis. And then I have uh, Diana Washington. Ooh, three stars. Oh, Diana. yes. That's Diana Washington. Washington. I mean, uh, last year, a lady just started screaming in the audience when she did This Bitter Earth. Oh, okay. And, and this year, I'm also going to have Billy X9. Oh, okay. So... We're that's looking a, forward to show. it. It's gonna, and the narrator tells the story about each and every character. Okay. And a lot of them didn't even know that Louis Armstrong, they have an airport named after him. Wow, no, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's all the positive things about all the characters. So it's not only entertaining, it's educational it's as well. Exactly, exactly. Now, what do you want people, when they walk away from this play, what do you want people to walk away with after seeing your show? Two things. The first thing I want them to to remember these artists for what they contributed as far as music is concerned mm -hmm. and their contribution to civil rights. civil rights. And the main thing is I want everybody to remember Billy and I want every year they should play Strange Fruits. And we tell the story of Strange Fruits and this is something that everybody should know and they should also carry the legacy on to their kids. Yes. Now this show is for not only for adults. Okay. The seniors love it. I, I mean imagine. they come out and, and and they tell me that it brings back so many yeah, memories. Because they life. live that time frame. Exactly. Yes. And then the youth, we want them to know how creative we are. Exactly. Give them some pride. So oh, they yes. know where they came from, you know. And I have a 19-piece orchestra, which is um, the Sound Mind Merchants. All right. And these are some seasoned musicians. Okay. And they are playing the music. You got a big, big backup, backup man. You. <laughs> oh, yeah, that sounds every, good. Every, you know, I'm really proud of the show. We, just, yeah. we uh, gave people a, um, a taste of it at the African Fest. We were in the African Fest. Okay. And so I, I know a, a kid came up to us and said, oh, I'm going to take tap dancing lesson. Because I had Mr. Tap. Tap as well. Oh, Mr. Tap is Tap. Oh, wow. Okay. When Billy, you see, a lot of people didn't know that Billy had a lot of up tempo songs. As a matter of fact, the, um, Carl Gable, Lina Turner, mm -hmm. they all used to go to the clubs and they would dance off of Billy's music. Okay, wow. So for my up tempo songs, I have um, Mr. Tap. Okay. And uh, he is, uh, and the reason I use Mr. Tap mm -hmm. for the show. Is because he's a traditional tap dance. Okay, okay. I mean, he's like not the, the modern interpretation. Yeah, he's the original. Oh yeah, the original style. Okay. And, uh, okay. and and the audience love it. Loves it. Okay. And then I have Laura and Dai Wu, and they are jitterbug teachers. Okay. They teach the jitterbug. They teach stepping. They have their own studio. Okay. And they are the couple who jitterbug. And, mm. I, and, and sound so very and everybody's gonna love it. Sounds very entertaining. So well, we're really excited about the show. We want as many people to come out, bring your family, bring your friends. <laughs> I mean, we're ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Sounds good. You all bring your family, bring your kids, bring everybody. Go see her show. Now, since we're talking about these great songs, what's your particular favorite song out of the Billy Holiday collection? That you enjoy singing, well, the audience. Enjoy. You enjoy. Well, um, ain't nobody's business. Let's hear a quick little snippet of it. Come on, give it to us. You should have knew you were falling into that. Whenever I sing ain't nobody's business, the audience starts singing. Okay, but just give me a little quick snippet. There ain't nothing I can say or nothing I can do that folks don't criticize me. But I'm going to do what I want to anyway. Because yeah. I don't care what people say. Right, if I that. had a notion to jump into the ocean, ain't nobody's business if I do. Go ahead and give it up for Ms. Loretta Lee. <laughs> now, Ms. Loretta Lee, that was excellent. Every playwright has a uh, ministry or, you know, a purpose or message in their styles. What would you say is your ministry that you're trying to get across to the audience? My ministry is this. I want everyone to remember the lynching. The lynching. That's right. Okay. I want them to remember that. Clearly. And to give Billie Holiday recognition for her contribution 
the civil rights. Because when she sang that song, Strange Fruit, mm -hmm, that's a deep song. none of the recording studios would record it. Mm -hmm. She had to find an independent local recording mm -hmm. studio yeah. to record it. Wow. And it became the national anthem. Yeah. Whenever the blacks would march, they would sing that song. Yeah. So why is it that they're not playing it mm -hmm. for black history? It's, it's, it's a deep song. And if you don't know about it, YouTube it. Billie Holiday, Strange Fruit. And you need to come to the show. Absolutely come to the show. <laughs> now, other participants in the show, uh, tell us about, I know you were naming uh, well, the characters. Yes, Louis Armstrong. Okay, and who did that play by? That's Ken Cooper. Okay. Ken Cooper is Louis Armstrong. All right. Shirley Buchanan is Stanley Washington. Okay, exactly. And then Shirley also is um, Mount Mabley. Okay. And then we have um, uh, uh, for a uh, What's the character name? I gotta get all the characters together. Okay. For a good time, okay. it's going to be um, I have, I have a flyer Oda. right here for you. Oh, I need to go to Okay. Okay. That's I what you may say that name again. Does anyone miss anybody? Yeah. Yeah, so he's going to do Billy Epstein. Billy Epstein. Okay. Now, again, uh, repeat the name of the show. Where it is. Remember and when. Billy Holiday at Carver Military Academy. It's on 130th and Doney Road. Loretta Lee as BillyHoliday.com. Remembering Looking. Billy Holiday. Said 99th birthday by Loretta Lee. Yes. You must go see. You have to go see it. Well, Loretta, it's been a pleasure speaking with oh, you. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Great. Everyone come see it. For Taste of Theater, I'm Pierre. Taste of Theater, everyone's a star. <laughs> If I know they're going to be taking pictures, I would have dressed up or something. You all look pretty good tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause before we get started. Get the blood going. Oh,
shelters and just scattered us. It's like... 